a and b are integers and a squared plus a b plus b squared equal to 21 find the value of a and b so if i rewrite the equation we have a squared plus a b plus b squared equal to 21 now what should we do here if i pay attention to the degree to the power degree is 2 for a so we can say it is a quadratic function in terms of a if i take all things to one side 21 to left hand side it will be a squared plus a b plus b squared minus 21 equal to zero now i want to solve this problem if i want to solve this problem i can say it is a quadratic function in terms of a it means what it is i can say if i have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero then x equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so here if i consider this as a quadratic formula in terms of a i can say a instead of x here i have a here equal to negative b here is negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4a here is 1 the coefficient of a squared like a coefficient of x squared it is equal to 1 for a and c is here b squared this c i mean constant term minus 21 all over 2 so if i simplify if i simplify i can say a equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4b squared minus 4 times negative 21 plus 84 all over 2 and if i simplify more a will be negative b plus minus square root of negative 3b squared plus 84 all over 2. now i want to solve this because i know a and b are integers so i can say this part should be integer so inside the square root negative 3b squared plus 84 should be a perfect square c squared which c is an integer now i want to find c squared and without loss of generality we can say because we have plus minus and we want to find this a square root we know is at least zero so without loss of generality we can consider c is at least zero i want to find the answers for b and c so if i rewrite our equation here negative 3b squared plus 84 equal to c squared if i take negative 3b squared to one side 3b squared plus c squared equal to 84 i should find what b and c works here but it is multiple of 3 also 84 is multiple of 3 because it is 3 times 28 so we can say because it is multiple of 3 you can write for example c squared equal to 3 times 28 minus 3b squared so it is 3 times 28 minus b squared so it is 3q so we conclude that c is multiple of 3 and you can find you can write and simplify one way is this you can use this i wanted to just show you but it is not heat needed here because you should check finite cases so you can say c is multiple of three replace and simplify the equation one way is this i do this so i can say c equal to 3k so c squared if you raise to the power of two it will be 9k squared 
And if I replace, let's replace here. So 3b squared, c squared is 9k. Let, let's write a name that's related to c. Let me write here why I can't. Let's erase it. Okay, I write 3c prime, not 9c prime, and also I change this one to 3c prime, 9c prime squared. So 3b squared plus 9c prime squared equal to 84, which is 3 times 28. We divide by 3 both sides. b squared plus 3c prime squared equal to 28. So if I want to check the cases, c prime 0 is not useful, c prime 1. So 3, 1, b can be plus minus 5. c prime, we said at least 0, c prime 2, 12, 3 times 12, and if you subtract, it will be 16, so it's good. 2 and plus minus 4, if we replace 3, 27 plus minus 1. So we have these cases for b and c prime. So if I copy this formula, I want to find a for each case. Okay, so a is this, and we can say b, the cases of b are these. So I consider only these things and this formula to find A and B in new page. Okay, so we consider case by case. We can say it is negative B by the definition. We say it is plus minus aha. Uh -huh. So here we said it is, we call this part C squared. So square root of that is C. And here we said C is 3C prime. So I can multiply them, so let me say 3, I can multiply them by 3, so it will be, let me erase these two things, it will be 3, 3, the next one, 3 times 2 will be 6, 6, and the last one, 3 times 3 will be 9, 9, and then it is b plus minus c over 2. Let's consider case by case. Case 1, A will be negative B, which will be negative 5 plus minus 3 over 2. And it will be negative 5 plus 3 over 2, which will be negative 1. So let me write negative 5 plus 3, negative 2 over 2. Negative 5 minus 3, negative 8 over 2. It will be negative 1, negative 4. So A for this case will be negative 1, negative 4. Now let's consider second case. And let me erase the things we've written here. Case number 2. A is negative B, negative negative 5 is 5, plus minus 3 over 2. 5 plus 3, 8 over 2, 5 minus 3, 2 over 2, 8 over 2 is 4, 2 over 2 is 1. So it will be 1 and 4. It was second case. Now we are finding many answers. So third case. Let's analyze third case. A is negative B, which is negative 4 plus minus 6 over 2. 6 minus 4, 2 over 2. Negative 4 minus 6, negative 10 over 2. 2 over 2 is 1, negative 2 over 2 is negative 5. So it will be 1, negative 5. Okay, we've checked third case. Let's focus on fourth case. Erase it. Fourth case, B is negative 4. So in fourth case, A is negative B is 4 plus minus 6 over 2. 4 plus 6, 10 over 2. 4 minus 6, negative 2 over 2. It will be 5, negative 1. So it is negative 1 and 5. Now we should check fifth case. Let me erase 4 case and now focus on fifth case. 
In fifth case, a is negative b, which is negative 1 plus minus 9 over 2, which is 9 minus 1, 8 over 2, and negative 10 over 2, which will be 4 and negative 5. So it will be 4 and negative 5. Okay, now let's focus on sixth case or last case. Let me raise these things and now focus on sixth case. We can say in sixth case, a equal to negative b, which is 1 plus minus 9 over 2. It is 10 over 2, which is 5, negative 8 over 2, negative 4. And it will be 5 and negative 4. So, if I want to rewrite our answers for a and b, negative 1, 5, negative 4, 5, negative the next one, 1, negative 5, 4, negative 5. Next one, 1, plus 4, negative 5, plus 4. And the next one, negative 1, negative 4, 5, negative 4, 4, this one. Will be 4, 1, negative 5, 1. 5, negative 1, and negative 4, negative 1. Okay, let's count the answer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This problem has 12 solutions. And, or you can say 6 here times 2. 12 solutions, and A and B are this. Okay. If you want to learn important formulas and ideas in geometry, algebra, combinatorics, and number theory, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Also, let me write homework for you. The homework is that try to solve, in this case, a squared minus ab plus b squared equal to, let me tell you, uh, I can say 39. Okay, try to solve this homework and comment your answers below this video. You can use my playlist on other videos to improve your problem solving. And thanks for watching this video.